Hello everybody, welcome into Rock Painting 101. We are going to be doing some adorable little gnomes today. We're going to do Halloween themed gnomes. I know you guys have seen me do lots of different gnomes over the years. Um, and so today we're just going to make a little set that are ready to go out trick-or-treating. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is just lay my gnomes out. I'm just going to use a extra fine tip paint pen so you can see what I'm doing. Um, you can do this with a pencil as well, but sometimes when I do pencil on the stones, you guys can't see them very well. So we're gonna do three different gnomes. They're all gonna be dressed up slightly different. So you can do one of these, all three of these, or take this as inspiration and create even more fun costume ideas. So the first one, we're gonna do a standard tall hat. So we're just gonna make the hat nice and tall here, all the way to the top. And then we swoop right down into our big beard. And the beard goes all the way down to where his feet would be. And we'll do little feet kind of popping out here at the bottom. And then our hat, we do an arch hat top. I always draw my nice big nose. And then have the beard about halfway up the nose. I like to leave little eyes peering out. So that's one gnome. I've got two that are gonna have a standard tall hat and the third one, the hat's gonna be drooping over. You can make them wider, skinnier. You can kind of mix and match however you want yeah, your gnomes to be. So we're just gonna get this guy in here too. Same with the beards. You can kind of make them wider, thinner, whatever you wanna do. But we're just gonna get them all on here. The last hat, I'm going to have the hat kind of draped over a little bit. So I'm going to have the hat kind of come up and then I'm going to do the top part of the arch of the hat first. So we're going to kind of create some creases to make it fold over and then come to a point. And then we're going to get from skinnier to wider and then we're on the top of the hat. still see that beard from the top yeah like to make sure you can see the whole picture when the rock is laying flat all right so we've got all three gnomes on here I am going to fill in each of these gnomes I've got white acrylic paint up here and I do have a little bit of black so usually I like to make mine uh, beards have just a little touch of gray to them so I'm going to fill in one here where while you're watching so you can kind of see how I do that without just blending straight gray. So I always pull my strokes the way that the hair runs so that you get kind of some of these streaks in here. I am gonna get my paint all the way up to the edges here. And same to the bottom. I know my brush is probably gonna be in the way doing this bottom spot, but I'll do it quickly here. And you can kind of go over those feet. We're gonna cover with feet and rewind everything at the end. So once you've got a layer of white down here, while it's still wet, just the very tip, tip, tip of your brush you can put into black, just add a couple streaks all the way across with that. And then keep those lines going the right direction. And you can kind of just pull down to the bottom, nice little wispy strokes just like that and it's a fun way to get kind of a gray but it's not just solid flat gray and gives it more of a beard look if there's little streaks and if you get too dark and you don't like it as dark it is go right back into your white again just the littlest bit look at i've got the tiniest little bit on the tip there and then you can just go right back over it again just go all the way across get the white laid down and you can kind of lighten it back up so you can go back and forth as many times as you want. Again, we're going to reline this all when we're done. So I'm going to do all three beards the same and then I'm going to paint the base color of each of my hats on here. I've got blue for my hat in the middle, white for my hat on the left, and I'm going to do black for the hat on the right. Um, that's pretty self-explanatory, so I'm going to go ahead and just kind of speed up filling these in and then we'll continue with the design.
Okay, so while these base coats are drying a little bit, I'm gonna put the smallest little bit of orange on my plate. I'm not even gonna put it like a whole dot. I'm gonna use my white brush and I'm just gonna take one little dot of this orange into the side of my uh, white here. I'm just trying to get a super pale peachy color here. There we go, super pale peachy. And we'll go in and fill in our gnome spaces. Being extra careful not to pull any of these other colors in since they're a little bit wet. Okay. So I am going to let this first coat dry all the way here and then we'll start decorating our gnomes a couple of these areas might need a second coat I'll take care of that wow it's paused as well all right we've still got a little bit of drying going on but I just am ready to get going the black looks nice and dry so we're going to start on this guy on the right now I know I was using my acrylics and stuff here to get going but most of these details I'm going to be taking care of with just extra fine tip paint pens it's just a lot easier for me um the one I just got black and white here that I'm going to be using um, I am going to go back with some yellow for some other details but we'll use acrylic paint for that so the first little gnome here we're going to do off to the side is going to have a fun little friend hanging from his hat so we're going to go ahead and get our little friend down here so we have a spot to aim for so we're going to go one two three, four out to the sides, and then we're gonna have the last two kind of coming up and down like that. And then we're gonna go back and add our web. Once that dries, we don't wanna pull any of that black in, but we're gonna create our web on our hat. So we're gonna do the lines that go from the center out. Now we're gonna pretend like the center of the web is kind of this, tip of the hat. So we'll start here and we're going to follow our bends of our hat all the way up and out. So we're going to go straight up the middle to the side. Uh, we'll go kind of to this point here and to here. And we're going to add webbing in there so it's okay if they don't all connect. And then we're going to come straight down. Now I'm going to actually add, because as it gets bigger, some other lines as well. But for now, I'm going to create the arches to see how many I can fit on here comfortably without it all bleeding together. So I'm guessing we're gonna be able to get one here out to the side, and then one here out to this side. And then this edge would become white as well. And then we'll follow this edge all the way around until it kind of disappears into the other one. Same here. Just kind of up and around. And then we're going to do these same double arches all the way up and around. So we're gonna turn. Turn into M's on the way down. There we go. Right into the spider. A little bit coming out the other side. So we got our oops, spider web hat for gnome number one. Now a lot of times when you do white on black, you might need a second layer to make it pop a little bit more. We can go back and take care of that in a little bit. We're gonna go ahead and just finish off this little gnome face. So we're gonna re-outline our nose. Line out to the cheeks. And do the edge of our beard towards the bottom here. And then you can decide if you want to have a hand sticking out, you would just use the same color as you have for uh, the skin tone. Sometimes you can have them holding, I'm gonna have one of them holding a basket over here. And then I just do two little beady little dot eyes for the little gnome guy now this blue i maybe should have done white underneath it it's just not as bright of a blue as i kind of was hoping it would be 
Um, but we're gonna make him into a wizard hat. So I've got my yellow, kind of this cadmium yellow. Um, then I'm gonna use my dotting tool. If you don't have dotting tools, that's totally fine. Um, you can just use a toothpick or a very small paintbrush tip and we're just gonna go right into our yellow and we're just gonna add some kind of dots for stars on our wizard hat. And just kind of space them out. Okay, now our last one is going to be kind of a take. We've done um, really fun mummy rocks before. Put a little picture here. Um, if you've never seen that tutorial, they're super easy. Um, I will add a card to that. Uh, we're going to do a mummy wrapped hat on this guy here. And then I'm actually going to add a little bit of a tissue kind of coming off to the side here. So the first thing we're going to do is just section off his hat into um, pieces of you know, wrap that are going around. So we're just going to create almost little rectangles um, all the way from the top of his hat down. So it might stick out over the edge in a few places. You want it to kind of um, create little X's for a little bit more visual appeal. You can have some of them more vertical, some of them more horizontal. Just have fun with it. There's not really any rules of how they have to look. Just like to give edges to each of the pieces and see as you're building up, it creates this fun mummy textured effect. And then you can decide a space where you kind of, if you want to have like a little bit of it kind of coming down the side and we'll fill that in with some white. And then you can also come in here and just add a couple little lines that go along with it from the edges, kind of swiping, just quick little wipes in the direction of the bandage. Just like that. It's just the littlest touches really kind of bring it up a notch. Yeah. I'm going to fill that in with some white here. I am going to use the my acrylic, because that's what I used on the rest. I do want it to match, because a little bit of that rock kind of shows through. So just get a little bit of acrylic paint in here. I am going to go over that edge so it looks like it's coming from the inside there slightly. There we go. And mummy hat. Um, and like I said before, you can add little shoes popping out from their beards if you want to. I'm going to go ahead and give this guy here in the center a little basket. Let's give him a little jack-o'-lantern basket. So um, for their hands, I go very super simple. I just do a little circle um, like that. And then we'll make his little bucket here. And give it a handle. All right, so then we're gonna come in here and get this filled in. I've got, oh, I think I still have some orange over here. Number four. We're just gonna fill that in. Really classic jack-o'-lantern bucket here. And then we've got a little if it's not completely dry, or skin tone up here. Maybe. Just to fill in that little bit. Again, we can reline this. Oop. 
once it's done that's going to take a couple coats so hold on one second all right so we got that second coat drying there we added a couple little shoes on this guy over here a uh, couple little last minute touch-ups down here on our beards and then I went and lined these all the way uh, you can add a couple texture lines within the beards as well just nice little light wispy lines to kind of give them some extra texture if you like but when you're using that gray in there you kind of got that look already get the edge of this bucket and these little guys are ready to go out trick-or-treating and they're adorable so i hope you enjoyed this little cute gnome tutorial um like i said you can dress up all of these you can come up with new costume ideas they're really easy to kind of customize once you've seen them done a few times so i hope you enjoyed this one don't forget to subscribe and give the video a thumbs up we will be back again next week with another fun rock painting tutorial Bye bye